Hi, I'm Linda from Bailati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Energy Flow Sculpt. For today's workout, all you will need is an exercise mat and I'm using one dumbbell. So mine is two and a half kilos, which is about five and a half pounds. You can go slightly heavier or slightly lighter. We're going to be doing lots of flowing motions today and we'll be using the weight to add a bit of a sculpting element and also to increase the stretch in some of the exercises. So if you prefer not to use one, you don't have to, but in that case, please find something to hold on to that's about the same size. You might just want to roll up a towel or something like that because it will help with alignment as well. So we're going to get into a little bit of a warm up without the weight and then we're going to start using it straight away. I'm not wearing footwear today, but if you want to, you definitely can, especially if you have joint issues, knees and ankles, things like that. Also throughout this workout, really watch your lower back because we will be doing some twisting motions with the weight. So always make sure that you've got your tummy pulled in and your spine is nice and straight. Never roll down and curve your spine. Keep it flat at all times, which means if you're not that flexible, you can't reach as low as me, which is totally fine. Just go to your point of challenge, okay? We don't want any injuries. So let's get started. I want you to stand with your feet wider than your hips and we're going to come back and sit back into this glute with our arms and then switch sides. So we're actually going to switch and switch, coming up slightly on the balls of our toes, down. So it's a sitting action as if you're about to sit back into a chair and you're keeping your back nice and flat, your tummy in and you're also stretching, stretching that extended leg. So one is always straight and one is always bent. So this is gonna get the heart rate up quickly. Really chop those arms through the air, side to side for four, and side, three, and side, two, and one. Now stay on this side. Come up and sit back. Come up and sit back. So I'm coming up on my tippy toes. You don't have to if you just want to stand up straight. And we're coming tall. I'm slightly arching backwards. So that is going to warm up your lower back and your core. We're going to start lifting the leg up and down. See how I'm lifting off slightly? Up and down. Up and down. I'm coming up on my front toe and you're starting to Increase that, bend. See how I'm starting to bend back? Don't worry if you wobble, I'm wobbling too. Up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna change it and come into a bit of a rocking horse motion. So it's forward leg up and back leg up. And your arms are just swinging through the air and up up and up. So I'm trying not to bend my front leg. I'm keeping that one straight. Just bending through the back leg. Heart rate is up, right? Let's go for four and up. Three, up, two, up and one. We're going to come to the other side and come up, down and up. So we start with your foot down. If you want to start lifting straight away, you can, but this is a good way to start getting your balance. Chop it down and up. Down, up on both toes. A few more, then we're going to start lifting the back leg. Breathing. Get down low. The lower you get, the more you're going to feel the burn in those glutes. Four and up. Three two, one, now start lifting the back leg and up, down and up. You need to sit into it and then come up tall. Maybe start arching back a little bit. Okay, arch towards the back just a little bit. And if you wobble, maybe don't do it as big and keep your front leg planted down instead of coming up on the toe and up. And up, bend slightly to the back, but your tummy has to be in to protect your core. Four, and three, and two, and one. Now we're gonna come up and down, up and down. 
So front leg straight and back leg is bent to straight. Just swing your arms through space. It's a bit of like a rocking horse. You can come up on that toe or keep it flat. And you're trying to keep coming down low to high. That's what's getting the heart rate up. Low to high. Low to high. Are you feeling that yet? How about four more? Try not to fall. <laughs> Two and one. Awesome job. Okay, we're gonna grab our weight and just come into a nice soft knee position. Tummies are in and all we're gonna do is start twisting. So you're at waist height and your arms are bent, your shoulders are down and back and you're just twisting side to side getting used to that weight, side to side, side to side. Really trying to hold your belly button in as tight as you can and imagining that you're wringing out your waistline, side to side. We're going to start doing a skater action from side to side. So we're gonna step behind with one leg and then jump to the other side and we're gonna keep using these arms, six, five, four, three, two, one. So it's across and across, across and across. It's kind of stop across and across. And if you don't want to jump, just walk it and walk it. Otherwise, just a tiny jump across and across, across and across. We're going to change the arms into more of a figure eight in four, in three, in two, in one. So it's gonna be figure eight and figure eight. And that's gonna cause you to come lower in the legs as well. So high to low, high to low. Again, if you don't wanna jump, step, step. It's a curtsy lunge, lunging behind. Your feet are turned out. Down and down, down and down, down and down. Down and down, heart rate's high. Four, three, two, one, stay here. It's a figure eight. It's a big figure eight. You're staying in a curtsy position. You're bouncing lightly through those legs. Around and around. I'm letting my body move with the weight. I know it's hard to balance, with that extra weight, but try. Just breathe. Four, three, two, one, and across to the other side. Same thing. Bounce through the legs. Try and get low. Tummies are in, back is flat. Feel your glutes. Really make sure your feet are turned out here. A few more like this. Around and around, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're just gonna bend directly to the side. We're gonna bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. I'm shifting my weight and I'm letting my weight drag my hand down. Side and straighten side and straighten. Now after a few more, we're gonna pick up the opposite leg. Bend directly to the side and straighten. Both legs are straight. You need to come directly to the side, don't lean forward. Side and straighten, side and straighten. Just float the other arm across and up, across. And up. We're going to hold a balance challenge in a second. If you can't do it, just keep your toe down. We're just going to do little pulses to the side with the weight and keep our leg up. Four more. Up and three. Up and two. Up and one. Now hold it if you can and tiny pulses with this hand. It's super challenging. So this is your option. Okay, otherwise, Try to do tiny pulses 
and get that leg up. The higher you get the leg, the lower you can pulse. Keep your weight close to your leg for four, three, two, one. And it's okay to wobble. I want you to increase your ability to balance. So if you have to touch down, no shame in that, okay? So we're gonna to go to the other side. We're gonna come across and open, across and open. So now transfer your weight and make it look pretty. Float the other arm, point through your toes and really just articulate through your spine, through your side and through your feet. Across and out, across and out. The weight is close to the leg and you're bending directly over, not forward or back. Four more, then we're gonna pick up the leg. Three, two, and one. So we're gonna pick up our leg and open. Pick it up and open. Remember, to the side, the arm can come slightly diagonal and then back out. Pick up your leg and out. So this is a bonus out of thigh. Pick up your leg and out. Over and out. And see how I nearly fell then? I just used my core to try and help me stay upright and not fall. A few more, then we're gonna keep that leg up and do those pulses. Those ones are challenging, right? Four more and three more and two more and one. Now, can you hold it? Find your balance and remember this is your option. Maybe start here and then gradually lift your leg directly to the side, down and down, down and down. Tummies are in, weight is in the heels. Eight, seven, six, five, tiny move. Three, two, one. So you would have felt it here and here, right? Oh, okay, we're coming back to that move. We're gonna, we're gonna sit back like this and we're gonna pick up the leg and then we're gonna just come up on the toe. Pick up the leg and come up on the toe. And we're gonna raise our arm and come up on the toe. Raise our arms, come up on the toe. So it's a front raise and you're shifting your weight from the bent leg into the front leg. It's up and down, up and down. Tummies are in, backs are flat. You should be feeling a lot of work in the quad of, the, of this leg here. If you're coming up on the toe, you're gonna get some good calf work there too. A few more like this. Four and three and two and one. Now I want you to stay here and we're just gonna lift up and down. Up and down, it's hard. Up and down on the toe. Three, sit back. Four, sit back at the bottom. Five, just 10. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch it to the other side, really sit back. So we're going to come up and down. Up and down. Really try to change your weight into the front leg and the back leg. We're trying to stretch dynamically. Up and it's down. It's up and it's down. Coming up onto that toe, then really sitting back. Breathe. I know the heart rate is high. Sit back, sit back. Get as low as you can. If you can't come as low as me, then don't worry about it. Go for six and five, four, three, two, and one. Now stay down and lift the leg and down. Lift the leg and down. Either you can keep your, your foot flat or you can come up on the toe of that supporting leg. It's really hard. It's really wobbly. It's up and it's down. It's up and it's down. Come on, you can do this. A few more and we're done with this. Up, down, up, down. Flat backs, how about five more? And down, 
four, and down. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Just come side to side. Get rid of some of that lactic acid. Breathe, breathe. And we're going into a more upper body fo focus exercise next. Four, three, two, one. So we're going to bend this leg and keep the other leg nice and straight. You can slightly angle your toes. It doesn't have to be out like this. We're gonna come down, put our hand on our elbow and we're gonna face our chest down for the first one. Tummies are in, back is flat. We're gonna come out to the side. Then only if you can, put your fingertips up onto the floor and then go up like this. Then come back up here, out to the side, fingertips down, up, all the way up and up, up to the side and then all the way up and look at your weight. Come up, up to the side, this one's slow and controlled and all the way up, come down. Make sure your back is flat. Now if you can't do that one with your hand down then just stay here, okay, or even here, okay? As long as your back is flat. Otherwise, it's out to the side facing your chest down and then open it up to the ceiling. It's out to the side and open it up, keeping that weight close to your body. Out to the side and open it up. Nice stretch, out to the side. We're gonna do four more and then we're just gonna stay at the bottom. Out to the side and all the way up. Two more after this, out to the side and all the way up. This is the last one, to the side and all the way up. Then we're gonna stay in this position. Chest is towards the floor, otherwise you can be further up here and we're gonna come out to the side only. Staying in this stable position. Squeeze everything, squeeze your lower body to help keep you stable. Out to the side. Micro bend in your elbow, out to the side. Tummy in, back is flat, out to the side. Come on, eight, seven, six, five. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going into that other position. If you can't be down here, then be up here, okay? We're gonna go up and touch down. Two, and down. Three, and down, otherwise, Four, and down. Five, totally fine. Six, and down. Seven, and eight. Nine, and 10. 11, 12, we're going to 16. 13, 14, 15, and 16. Come up. Now keep your legs like this and just hold that weight at your waist and we're going to just bend into this warrior lunge. Okay? Just give your arms a little break and bend into it. Bend into it. I want you to have wide enough a stance so that your toe never goes out, uh, so your, your knee never goes out over the toe. Okay? So you should be able to look down and always see your toes. You're doing a slight rotation in the waist and you should be feeling it here, inner thigh, hamstring area, and a bit of glute. This leg's just kind of for balance. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, we're doing the same thing to the other side. So you're angling your feet, doesn't matter if this toe is more to the front or more to the side, really doesn't matter. We're going to Come down with our elbow, chest is to the floor, very important, don't turn out your chest with this one. It's out to the side, then put your hand down and it's up. It's out to the side, then put your hand down and it's up overhead, keeping that weight close. Make sure you do this with control, don't just throw your arm around. I would rather you be slower than me and use perfect form then try, try to keep up with me and do it wrong and jerk it around and then injure yourself, okay? Up. And one side might be easier for you than the other. One side you might be more flexible than the other. But remember, 
If you want to stay here for this one, you can. Out to the side and all the way up. You need to use your core here, so make sure you're holding your belly button in really super tight. It will help you to make sure everything is kept in alignment and it will protect your back. Your lower back can be very vulnerable, so you want to make sure you're always doing your utmost to keep that in perfect alignment. Down and up. Come on a few more, then we're staying with these ones. Down and blow out on the exertion. Down and up, we're doing four more. And it's side, squeeze those shoulder blades on the side and up. This is three. You should be feeling that leg, that front leg as well, the glute in there. That's a bonus. And up. This is the last one before we hold it down. And up. Now come into that perfect position, either here or even here. Chest is towards the mat and it's out to the side. Out to the side. If you want to be up here, out to the side. The weight is in the heel of this bent leg out to the side. You've got a bend in the elbow and you're really trying to keep your neck in alignment with your spine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now coming up to the side like this or putting your hand down and it's up and down. Up and down. Three. Go at your pace. Four. Five. Six. This is a dynamic stretch as well. Seven. Eight. Eight more. Nine. Ten. Tummies are in. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, last one, 16. Come down, okay, remember we're staying in that lunge position. Weight is by the waist and just pulse into that. So you wanna make sure that your knee is not coming over the toe, but tracking in the middle of the foot, across. You're chopping slightly across with the waist, feeling your obliques, Feeling the inner thigh, hamstring, and glutes of that bending leg. The other one should feel quite comfortable, but try and keep it tensed if you can. You may as well, isotension, to work those stabilizing muscles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, now we're going to go into a bit of a circle lunge where we're gonna circle forward and backwards. At first, I just want you to hold your weight and we're gonna come in a curtsy lunge position again. So you've almost got like a diamond shape. You're stepping forward, slightly hinged, coming around to the back. So it's forward and back. We've done these before. I like to hinge slightly and back. Now I want you to start figure eighting similar to what we did before. So forward and back. You're always coming to the side of the leg that's in front. Forward and back. You don't need to make really big steps. I just want you to try and keep your balance. Shoulders are down and back. Back is flat, tummy is in, and you're chopping across and across across to the back and across. <sighs> Blowing out and out, out and out. Front and back. Are you feeling this? Should be a nice burn in those legs. Six more and back. Five, four, heart rate is up. Three, two, and one. Now come back to the front in that curtsy position and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. We're gonna chop across and bring our arm up. So come down and chop. 
Make sure you don't hit yourself with that weight. So look down and go past that knee and chop. And chop. So you're chopping to the back, back corner, right? Getting low in that front leg, sticking your glute out to the side. A few more like this and then we're going to stop doing the up and down with the legs. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come down low, stay in that position, hinge forward and from here we're just going to chop back, 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 twist and twist, twist and twist to the back, back. So you're not coming up, you might be bouncing slightly in the leg, that's normal, but I want you to focus on back flat, tummies in and squeeze the obliques. Six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going to come down in the same position and we're going to chop across. Make sure you're hinged forward, you're going to chop across and come up. It's chop across and then come up. So it's not exactly the same. It's across and up. It's down, across and up. Down, across and up. Back is flat. Down, across and up. Down, across and up. All the way. You should still be feeling the glute of the front leg. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Come back up safely. We're repeating that sequence with the other leg. So at first, feet are turned out. Just hold the weight by your waist, and we're going to do that in front to behind. So I want your tummy in and lean slightly forward. Keep your chest up, but lean and hinge from the hips, okay? It's in front, really bending in. Now once you have it, start that figure eight. So it's always to the side of the leg that's in front. Really bend into it. This is meant to be a flowing exercise, okay? You're supposed to feel your body responding to that movement in a very natural way, in a very flowing way, as if this exercise was designed for how your body should move. It's around and around. Even though it's tough on the heart rate and your muscles are burning, it should still feel good. Six, breathe, and low, four, and three, two and one so stay here are you breathing so we're going to stay here in that turnout position we're going to come up higher and then chop to the back so it's up and down with the legs and the arms it's up and blow out at the bottom up and down i want you to really go up and down that high to low that's where the calories live. That's where the heart rate lives, okay? Don't go shallow. Stick your glutes out to the back. Tummies are in. Down. Chop it. A few more, then we're going to stabilize those legs. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, now stay low. If you need to readjust, we're just gonna come down and down. Down and down. Try not to move the legs much. You can move a little bit and down. So you're not coming as high with the arms and you're just chopping, really squeezing into that oblique, into the waist. All the air out at the bottom. Eight, seven, burning, burning. Six, five, glutes are on fire. Four, three, two, and one. 
Come down on your knees. Keep your legs in the same position. Hinge forward with a flat back. We're gonna come from in front to down. In front to down. You can slow it down if you need to. Bend into it. And down. Come on. This is functional. This is sculpting. This is dynamic stretching. You're working so many body parts right now. Keep going. This is the best way to move your body. You need to keep shocking it into giving you results. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, come back up. We're onto the last little sequence. This has been high cardio the entire time. Okay, arms are up and we're gonna do around the world, around the world, around the world, and you're switching sides. Switch sides, switch sides. Keep your arms close to your head. You should feel your waistline around the world. <sighs> breathe out, breathe out, breathe out and breathe. Four more like this, one and two and three and four. Now we're gonna come into a wide plie and we're just gonna stick to the one side. I want you to come down. We're going to just go around, around the same direction around now bend into it bend into it bend sideways as you bring your weight to the side <sighs> tummies are in if your tummies aren't in you're not going to be able to do this safely around bend bend into it eight seven arms are feeling this six five Four, three, two, one. Now hold it here and to the side, just a few. To the side, are you feeling your bicep? To the side. Three and four, so eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're going the other way around. The other way around. Come down and up, slightly to the side. Now gauge it. You might not be able to bend far. It's around and forward. It's around the back and forward. And bend as your weight comes to the side. Come on, you should feel this in your obliques a lot. And that's where we wanna feel it, right? Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now back to the side, let that weight sit in your hand and hinge to the side, bend. <sighs> bend into the side. Come on, directly to the side, not forward or back. We're nearly done with this. Down and down. Down and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Put the weight down. We're just gonna swing our arms side and side. <sighs> Bend your legs side and side. So we just wanna get everything loosened up yet with some dynamic stretching. <sighs> side and side. Three, two, one. And we're gonna do a figure eight, large figure eight, down and up with those arms. Down and up, down and up, down and up. Dynamic stretching to lengthen all those muscles out. So it wasn't an average strength training workout, but you used a lot of muscles in each exercise, compound move, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Side to side, side to side. Pushing your arms away, side to side. Stretching through inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And if you can, up and up. Up and up. Try and straighten through your legs on the up. Up and up. One more each side and up. Awesome job. We're going to sit down to stretch our legs. So bring your legs in front of you and chest towards your thighs and just bounce ever so lightly. Keep your legs straight. Bounce, bounce ever so lightly, keeping it dynamic. Then we're going to open up our legs slightly, not all the way, and come forward. And same thing, just bounce ever so lightly. And if you're up higher, that's fine. So this one's in between a hamstring and an inner thigh stretch. Four, three, two, one. And now open up all the way and come down. Bounce ever so lightly for your inner thighs. You should feel that lengthening. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now bring your feet together. Just put the soles of your feet together. And if you want to, you can push down, push down, opening up through the hips and down. Then bring one leg to the side and over and over, stretching those obliques. You really felt those obliques. I bet you're gonna be sore tomorrow. I think I'm gonna be because I can feel them now. They really got engaged with that extra weight. And over. And if you want to, just grab that, come to the side. And then just switch that up. Other leg in and over and over. Ah, oh, that feels so good. And then to the front. Sweeping, sweeping. Ah, oh, hold for a second. And then if you want to just come and bring that up. You can hold behind here. You can hold wherever you're comfortable. Just bring it in, straighten that. You might want to point and flex here. And then come into a kneeling position and depending on how flexible you are, you can either come here or you can hold on to your ankles or your heels, sorry, and just push up and really push your hips forward because you're trying to stretch the front of your thigh as well as your abs. Push up through your shoulders, then come back up and we're going to oppose that stretch. So all the air out into a nice rounded shape here, opening up through your shoulder blades and then come down and then again all the way up. And finally, I just want you to bring your foot in and then lean your chest on your thigh because we did go up on our toes a little bit. So I just want to stretch out your calf and your ankle there as well, the Achilles tendon and then just switch that up and lean on it ever so lightly. That feels good. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Energy Flow Sculpt. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next workout.